Hello again and welcome back to Operations Management. In this session we're going to be talking about capacity waste factor. So this session is associated with capacity analysis. As we know, the effective unit load of a resource is the actual amount of time required to process a flow unit, which means the effective capacity is the actual number of units per processed per period of time. Now, when we talk about effective capacity, that means this is the realistic capacity. We know that there's waiting, we know that there's some issues that go on, and so this is what's actually happening in the workplace. Now, we also have a theoretical capacity, and that's based on the theoretical unit load of a resource, which is the minimal amount of time required to process a flow unit if we get rid of all of that waste. So we get rid of the waiting time, we get rid of the extraneous activities. So our theoretical capacity is our maximum number of units processed if all of that waste was eliminated. So what we're looking for here is looking at that comparison between our effective capacity and our theoretical capacity. So the capacity waste factor is actually a percentage. It is the percentage of the theoretical capacity that is waste. So we can look at it three different ways. One is if we had theoretical capacity and the capacity waste factor, also known as CWF, we can calculate the effective capacity. If we have the effective capacity and the waste factor, we can calculate the theoretical capacity. And lastly, if we have the effective capacity and the theoretical capacity, we can calculate the capacity waste factor. So why don't we do a simple problem to illustrate this. For example, a company requires an inspection team to evaluate every product produced. Each team spends an hour and a quarter on each product. The inspection team can only work six hours per day on inspecting products, even though the teams themselves work eight hours a day. This two-hour difference is due to additional paperwork, cleanup, and meetings. In other words, non-value-added time. So what is the capacity waste factor? So we're going to first calculate the effective capacity. The effective capacity is what's actually occurring. We have six hours available. Each product needs an hour and a quarter, so we know that our effective capacity is 4.8 products. Now we calculate the theoretical capacity. We remove those two hours of meetings and paperwork, so now our maximum hour, hours available is eight, the same number of hours per product, one and a quarter. So now our theoretical capacity is 6.4 products. So now we have both the theoretical capacity and the effective capacity. We can now calculate the capacity waste factor. The capacity waste factor, CWF, is equal to 1 minus the effective capacity divided by the theoretical capacity, which gives us 1 minus 0.75, which is 25%. So what we're saying here is that we have a waste factor of 25%. So if we're trying to improve our situation, we're going to try and get our effective capacity closer to our theoretical capacity. So this is how you calculate capacity waste factor, and I hope to see you again for another session.